Hi, you're tuned into Ned Ned Nurb the Schizophrenic. This is day four of 100 symptoms. I think I have enough symptoms or a knowledge of enough symptoms that I can come up with a new symptom for 100 days. <laughs> I'm going to talk about preoccupation today. Being preoccupied is when a person has a bunch of thoughts in their head that are hard to suppress. For instance, I often have political preoccupation. I think about big global issues, global events, and I interject them into a conversation. I say something like, oh yeah, that's like when uh, the capitalist conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. It's like, it, it, preoccupations often involve delusions. They often involve um, thoughts we have about the world. And uh, I can tell nowadays when I say something that's interpreted as preoccupied because a person will usually switch subject and not address what I was saying. And that makes sense because as a, as a preoccupation, the topic just comes up and there's nothing more to it really. It's just coming up and reiterating itself. Preoccupation often pairs with delusional thinking. If a person has a strong delusion, a strong belief in something that isn't real to other people, th that individual with the delusion, with the preoccupation might be stuck on a particular topic. They don't flow in the conversation as easily as other people do. Other people usually float around from topic to topic without getting stuck in any particular angle. And now that's not uniform. All sorts of people can have preoccupations for a day, for a, for a week or whatever. As a schizophrenia symptom or a bipolar symptom or a schizoaffective symptom, preoccupation for those individuals is something more ongoing usually. Anyhow, you've been tuning in to Ned Ned Nerb the Schizophrenic. This is day four of 100 symptoms. Hope you enjoyed that. Please ask any questions in the comments below. Bye.